So if you're diagnosed with a, um, a grade two glioma, the prognosis is not the same for any patient that has a grade two glioma. There's many subsets within that kind of setting and these, clom these gliomas were just reclassified this year by pathology and so it's incorporating molecular parameters and those parameters mean a lot when it comes to prognosis. So we see some patients that have, even though they're diagnosed with a grade two glioma, um, they do very poor and we know kind of now what the molecular subtype that is looks like. They often have an IDH wild type so they do not have mutations in the IDH gene and they tend to more resemble a glioblastoma and so then it remains how should those patients be treated because they're going to be they need to be treated differently than a patient um, that tends to do well with treatment and can live you know 10 in decades we measure you know their survival in decades.